Welcome back to the channel. A lot of stuff has changed, but not really enough content to keep the videos going. You can see out front here, I end up putting my metal around the uh, door frame. And I also was able to finish off my fascia. It went on fairly smooth, no problems. Not an expert by no means, but I do think it turned out pretty good. I did do the back first, <laughs> just in case I screwed something up, but uh, all of it ended up turning out really good. Even my, even my transitions or my peak end up coming dead on, which is really nice. And then the ends there, the bird boxes and the eaves turned out really good as well too. So through the winter here, this uh, thigh has been holding up great. Actually, I do believe it's got tighter because I know, like this is like tight as a skin on a wiener. And I know we didn't have this tight when we put it on. So I think with the sun on it, I think it's been shrinking. Now it's definitely messy inside, but I've been busy. Things have been going well. I now have all my circuits that are gonna be in the garage. Got them over to the main panel here. Got all my wires run, all my boxes grounded, all my leads hanging out the whole way around, even up the top. I ran my extra wires to the ceiling that I needed. And I even got my main connection to the host, and I now have panel power out here in the garage. So there's where the main power runs into the garage. And uh, like I mentioned in the earlier videos, this is a direct berry cable. Now, uh, ground is frozen solid. So this will be my temporary power run for the winter. I am required to put a box over it to protect it, but this will pass inspection for the winter time. All I gotta do is submit photos and proof that it is buried once the ground is thawed. Now I know the light's not very good here, but I'm underneath my house and this is the power running to my garage. This is the junction box that uh, that runs the wire here. It's all coiled up here for now, but it will go at the bottom here and get buried. It has to go down 18 inches. But this side here, you see the bright light on. This is aluminum wire. This is the junction box that separates the aluminum wire connection from the copper wire. So these, these here are the aluminum, the big ones. This is the copper on this side, which is the main run coming from the hose. So again, this part is temporary because this will have to be all pulled out so I can run it underground. I do have to put a piece of conduit on the end. And when I do that, I also run some conduit around this here. I'll get a, I'll get a small piece that comes out and maybe a 45 degree bend and then up into the hose here. And this is the original wiring that I had done when the hose was built. But that's how it's hooked up here. Just gonna throw the cover on this because it will be about three or four months that it's left this way. This is probably gonna be my hardest part of all my wiring to do in this garage is to run this six gang box here and get all my plugs or all my switches in here. So these all run my lights, my three sets of lights for the roof, have one for outside, my main feed coming in, then I got my fans here of course for my center of my garage and some point in the future will be a ventilation fan. I will be temporarily hooking up. You can see the wire sticking out there. I will be temporarily hooking up an outside light because in order to pass the inspection, I do have to have some kind of illumination out here that illuminates the man door. It doesn't have to be directly over the door, but it has to be able to shine freely on top of it. So we'll be putting a double spot in there. So anyway, that's all I got, short and sweet. Just an update of things that are going on. And hopefully we'll get to something exciting soon.